Hey guys, so that was modern. I love my modern. And oh, that was standard actually. Huh, but I'll move on to modern later. So this is my deck and I want you guys to help me make the deck and I'll report FNM. I will try my best. I went to FNM last weekend and it was really fun. I always have a good time. I don't know why I don't choose to go sometimes. I just always have a very good time. So here is the sideboard, the current sideboard. Uh, this these can probably go away because they really were here to hang uh, to destroy hanging back walkers Here are the cards that are rotating out Which is quite a bit um, I Want to keep the mode of the deck. I'm definitely willing to listen to suggestions um, So these are rotating out which makes a huge difference. I might have to pick up different lands walkers Mirrors the mirrors were very very good in this deck because they kind of just represented Finally, a, a speed bump. Silk wraps, and then I love this dude. This guy is so good in this deck. So it was a mono white Adrazi deck. All this, uh, all these cards are rotating out. So this chunk of cards have to be replaced with some cards, and especially the land base. I definitely want to know what type of land base should I run. I've been trying various land bases, including um, the most. Evolving Wilds, I feel like, is still in rotation. Somebody check on that for me. Oh, it's not rotating out. I know Evolving Wilds was, yeah, Evolving Wilds is in Battle for Zendikar. So we still get Evolving Wilds as the only Fetch land. But yeah, so that's the sideboard. We have Avacins, Gotorsins, Gotorsins, uh, Abbeys. Displacer is very, very good in this deck. Falias, that's probably the only reason we play the deck. More Abbeys, uh, Gideon's. Gideon is incredibly good. I might just play up, and then Hedron Crawler, which is like the MVP, because it gets you straight into your Gideon, uh, which is very good. Or a Botnoss here, which is probably even better than Gideon. So your turn four is extremely powerful, because you have four Gideon's, four Botnoss here, and the Westvale Abbey is, is very good actually, but it was very good of hanging back walkers, so that might need to be cut. We run two Avacins. Avacin is no, I don't not going to cut the two cards. I will not cut from this deck are Philia and Avacin. So I'll and maybe Gideon. Gideon is just, but you guys want to suggest to cut him anyway. So that is the deck, the land base. I need some suggestions on to get more colorless. I might go with Evolving Wild slash Waste um, because we're a mono white deck, so we're not typically affected. And with two Gideons gone, we don't really have any one drops. We actually don't have any one drops. But at the same time, we definitely don't want to stall. So it, it's going to be interesting because we can bump red into it, but we still need colorless. And the colorless is very difficult about the Pain Lands. This deck operated smoothly. I never had any mana issues because I'm a mono white deck and I had eight pain lands plus I believe three abbeys. So combined I had 11 sources of colorless but the colorless never messed with my white drops. So that is the deck. I will listen to suggestions and hopefully have some gameplay. I'm definitely looking into making more gameplay should that be in real life um, and then you know, mute it and put some audio on it. So I'll try that out and see how you guys like it, as well as giving you F and M reports. And that was something that I always wanted to do uh, for the longest time is Friday Night Magic Hero, and I did it. I, uh, it's just really hard because sometimes when you miss a Friday night, you don't have a video. Right? You have to go and you have to dedicate yourself for six or eight weeks of continuously going, continuously evolving the deck. But I would love to see these suggestions you have. Again, the limitations are it has to be Avacyn and it has to be uh, Balias. And ideally, like you would have Ardrazis because they're very good. Displacer, actually, you know what? Why, why don't we grab some Gear Hulks and we can run Displacer with them and see what happens. So maybe what's the best color of a Gear Hulk we can run? It'll be a lot of fun, right? Anyway, I would love for you guys to leave me a comment about how I should modify this deck. I'm trying to be more interactive, trying to get you guys um, 
I, it really comes down to the fact is I reevaluated my channel and I know what you guys want. You want me to say, oh, these are good. You should get these and trade very cheaply or you should buy them very cheaply. Oh, you know, these are what I'm picking up and this is why I'm picking them up and I suggest you go pick them up too. So, and I know you guys do like interacting with my decks. Uh, so, bye guys.